I, I would say I spend a lot of time preparing the environment. Mm -hmm. Because I am half planner, half speaker, mm -hmm. it's, um, I have the advantage of having both worlds. And so I'll create, as a speaker, you do have, um, um, as a speaker, you're able to, um, oh gosh, what's the word? Not responsibility, ability. So I, I'm half speaker and half event planner. And as a speaker, you do have the ability to set the room and to have influence on that environment. Many speakers don't know that. Mm -hmm. They figured, well, you know, they gave me the, this room and that room and the room's already set. Well, if you need a certain setup, then tell them. If you want me to empower your audience and deliver um, this and that, this is the best environment for it. I want the seats set up in Chevron. I want the stage five feet away from the first people. I want the temperature at 67 degrees. I want this, this, and the lighting, etc. So I'll create, spend a lot of time, and I have a checklist, and I, I, I do do this all the time, so it's easy for me, and I have forms, and. So I will create this environment. So when I show up, there's going to be surprises because this person, this salesperson, didn't communicate to the venue, and the people of the banquet captain didn't get that information, and he didn't convey that to his people. And then all of a sudden, it's wrong. Mm -hmm. But I'm there early, mm -hmm. so I know these things, so I'm able to prepare and create that mm -hmm. environment. Um, wow, that was really long-winded. So preparation. Um, well, yeah, organization. Yeah, I do. So I do a ton of prep work ahead of time to create this environment, mm -hmm. and I know my topic. So even if I don't craft this speech with the look this way mm -hmm. and the look that way, mm -hmm. and then bam, I still know my topic and I know mm -hmm. the general points, and so I'll be able to improv and like you said, feed off the energy of, mm -hmm. of the room.